Hi, I'm Kaylee Hunter Gasparini, and welcome back to Tell It Like It Is. This week, I learned about Waiting for Gatto, the play directed by the transcript's own Mikey Diaz. When going to see shows, we always applaud the actors on stage, but we don't often consider those behind the scenes. I want to learn more about the less appreciated members of theater production with Nina Young, Waiting for Gatto's stage manager. During rehearsal, I am everybody's boss. Uh, so that means I need to keep rehearsal running smoothly, make sure everyone's doing what they need to do. And then kind of all the time I'm in charge of communication. So I hope people will realize that um, this old play that's kind of looked at as being um, a little boring and like something that everyone just has to read is actually so rich and full of um, humor and really beautiful moments. I also got to sit down with costume designers Mel Lowenthal and Mira Fowler to hear about their costuming decisions and experiences with the show. Um, we kind of both do the same work, like usually when we're working we're together. We and popcorn we, ideas. Yeah, yeah. And we will just like go pull stuff, try it out, like if something needs to be worked on or like sewed, someone will take it home, like whoever can do it. We, yeah, we normally go on trips together to thrift stores if we need to find something that's not in the costume shop, or we surf the internet for mm -hmm. previous productions of Gatto, or ideas that maybe the director had. We hope that you might be able to see similarities in the way characters are costumed to the way they act on stage, and how their story connects to other characters. So the textures in some of their clothes, mm -hmm. the clothing items they're wearing have to do with the character. But definitely look at character development through the costume and such because it does give a lot about their backstory and just the way they act and present themselves. There are so many opportunities to get involved with backstage help in shows and on stage so don't be afraid and if you are that's fine but come visit us and I'm sure you'll learn stuff and people are always willing to teach what they've learned over the years and are always welcoming to new people. So come, come visit us. Yeah, everyone's super nice, so yeah. don't be scared. It's a really nice environment. Waiting for Gatto will run next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. with the matinee on Saturday at 2 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. Tickets are $5 for students, so you should definitely check it out if you can. Happy Friday!